Hello and welcome to Woke Watch. And today we'll be looking at a story from right here in the UK, which once again exposes that wokeness, common sense and historical context do not make good bedfellows. One of the most popular tourist destinations here in England is the West Country, comprising of Somerset, Devon and Cornwall. It's often referred to as the English Riviera and it is simply stunning. If you visit England from overseas, I would advise you take a few days in the area. However, despite millions of tourists visiting it every year, two took offence at a road name and they're demanding that it be changed. The two tourists, described as being of Afro-Caribbean descent, were offended by this road sign reading Darkie Lane. Now, just to be clear, if that word was spelt D-A-R-K-I-E, that is a racist slur referring to non-white people. Also, to be clear, whenever I use the word, I'm spelling it that way. And naturally, the local council are falling over themselves, apologising and promising to change the name. However, once again, this is wokeness not understanding historical context. To better understand this, I'd ask how would most people pronounce this sign? And the majority would say it's pronounced ye old shoppy. That's incorrect. It's actually pronounced the old shop. Now you may be thinking that I've gone mad because clearly ye cannot be pronounced the. But again, we need to look at history. The Y is a replacement for an ancient Nordic letter used in Old English called the Thorn, which looked like this. And that was pronounced th. So the Thorn and E was the. And that was fine whilst everything was written by hand. But then the printing press came along and the first presses imported to England came from Germany and Italy where they didn't have the letter the Thorn. So it was replaced by the Latin letter Y. So everyone knew that Y-E was a replacement for the thorn and E, thus pronounced the. And as for the words oldie and shoppy, well, the E was silent, so as history moved on, it was just dropped. It was always pronounced old shop. And with this information, and because we are not stupid woke bastards, we can now understand that Darky Lane has nothing to do with racial slurs. So there's two possibilities as to why Darkie Lane is called Darkie Lane. Either it was originally called Dark Lane, D-A-R-K-E, but in the same way that people think that O-L-D-E is pronounced Oldie rather than Old, someone has read it as Darkie and added the Y to aid the pronunciation. Or it was always called Darkie Lane, D-A-R-K-E, Y, but the Y was a substitute for the thorn, so it would have been pronounced Darketh Lane. But why is this road called either Dark or Darketh Lane? Well, it's flanked heavily on both sides by trees, which cause an absence of light. And I believe the technical term for an absence of light is dark. Now, don't get me wrong. If that road had been called White Supremacy Drive or North Atlantic Slave Trade Avenue, then yes, change the fucking name. But once again, this is wokeness. Someone's offended by something they don't understand because they haven't understood the context and people have to run around screaming. And for me, this is an important thing when it comes to wokeness because I'm guessing over the last few minutes, some people watching this video wouldn't have been aware that ye oldie shoppy is pronounced the old shop and the reasons behind it. But in a very short space of time, we've been through a bit of the history of the English language and how it's evolved. Whereas woke people will just say, I don't like it, change it. I can understand why any non-white person would take issue with a road called Darkie Lane. But what's the better course of action? Is it like the council is doing to fall over and change the name with no explanation? Or to do what we've done and gone through the context to show it's either Dark or Darketh Lane and there's no racial connotations behind it? Because for me, if people can see racism where there is none, then it means that the real racism gets trivialised. I'm going to make a prediction. I live in Staffordshire, which is part of the Midlands. Now, if I get in my car and drive south down the M6 for about an hour, that will bring me to part of England, which is known as the Black Country. And that has got nothing to do with the ethnicity of the people who live there. The name comes from the 19th century, when the air was black with the soot coming from the factories and foundries. 
but I bet within the next 12 months someone is going to cry about it. Either that or they'll complain that the White Cliffs of Dover are repressing the rest of Britain. Woke people, please, understand the history, understand the context, and if not, shut the fuck up. Everyone else, thanks for watching.